14th of July 2020. My name is Sergey Baklikov. I continue my video blog now. Uh, the uh, live stream from uh, Holy Trinity, Alexander Tversky uh, Monastery, which was founded here in the very beginning of uh, 16th century. It is located not far from the border of uh, the Leningrad region of Russia and uh, the Republic of Karelia. Well, it's nominally still the Leningrad region, but I'm already almost came to the Republic of Karelia. Here is one of the most significant uh, places. That's Holy Trinity, uh, Alexander Svirsky Monastery. It's not far from Svir, the Svir River. And here it is located right in the middle of uh, two lakes the Holy Lake and the uh, Russian Sky Lake. Alexander Svirsky, Saint Alexander Svirsky founded this monastery uh, featuring Vasily III. That's one of the last Tsars of Rurix. It's uh, the end of 15th, beginning of 16th century. A huge monastery which is consisted of two parts here Weather is just awesome. The toilet for the visitors. Here we go now. Amazing nature the border of the Republic of Karelia and uh, Leningrad region. This is so big time. Whoa. This is the lake, and there's uh, from the left side another lake. So the place for Holy Trinity Alexander Svirsky Monastery was chosen so so successfully.
вот. And Orthodox Christian culture. It's a big time Russian Orthodox culture. The Belry. Those who just joined this live stream, let me tell you that right now I'm on my way to the Republic of Karelia and this is still the Leningrad region but already pretty close to the borders of the Republic of Karelia. And here I'm located in the Holy Trinity, Alexander Svirsky. cloister was in the 17th century. It uh, boasts one of the few preserved three-tended belfries and medieval clock tower in Russia, which you just saw. The abbey here was founded in 1487 when a monk of Valaam, Valaam Monastery named Alexander settled here between Roshinsky and uh, the Holy Lakes. I told you this place is located in the uh, middle of uh, two lakes. It's uh, 20 kilometers to the east from Lake Ladega and uh, 6 kilometers from the Svir, Svir River. And you know Svir River is actually one of the main rivers in Leningrad region because it is connecting the Lake Ladoga and Lake An Onega. Uh, definitely a pretty beautiful place. It's like one of those real monasteries, which is an active monastery. Where people are really pretty far, pretty far from the big cities. They are just um, deep in the woods, next to the lakes, um, united with the nature, united with a peace, and really so peaceful here, and especially it's great in such a weather. Wow! The connecting with the gods. Actually, the monk Alexander Svirsky, who founded this monastery, he saw the vision that exactly here the uh, monastery has to be.
continue will continue my way to the uh, Republic of Korea. Now the way to uh, Karyala, Karyala Park. And uh, later, later today in my evening, there's going to be one more live stream. Everybody film everyone. I hope you enjoy this touch of a true uh, Orthodox Christianity. Yes, it's more than active. It's in a great shape. I told you more than that, it's not it's not only active, but this is like a true, really true monastery which is active, which is uh, far from a big town, which has its own life. Шикарно, шикарно. А вы сами откуда? Я вот сейчас в Ульяновском. Недавно был в Ульяновске я. проездом там проезжали в, Ка в Карелию mm -hmm. решили остановиться да у меня их видишь сколько много нас приехало еще здесь он видишь похороненный недавно приговорят это настоятели вот да mm -hmm. то есть ты недавно говорит как бы там есть похороненные на этой площадке Кресты сняли старый, один общий поставил в тот бассейн. А это уже недавно успокоились. По здоровью помогает, да, это приехал. А, в смысле, просто от присутствия? Ну, говорят, там же внутри это икона лежит. Люди сдалека вон где-то в Мурманске приехали туда. Ну, так-то Мурманск. Нет, не заходил еще. Ну, там гробница, вот сейчас гробницу буду снимать, полностью там рука и Бога, и нога, и подходишь, молишься, целуешь, вообще идеально. Можно? Сойду.
Okay, uh, this guy came from Ulyanovsk region of Russia and he said that with all of his family, you see there are th three kids, um, his wife and maybe his mother, I guess, they all came here because they heard about the uh, miracle power of this monastery. The thing is, in that cathedral, there is uh, the icons, like the real icons, which really makes the miracle. And there is uh, the relics, the saint relics. And he said that people are saying they are really uh, heal the people. So from Ulyanovsk region, he especially came here to visit this monastery. Monastery is consisted of uh, two parts. That one. And this one. Yes, it's huge. So it's yes, it's it's active and here goes its own life. But also it's closed just for uh, opened, open just for visiting. But I'm not sure maybe this one is closed for visiting and there just goes the real uh, monk monk's life. It's almost on the border of Leningrad region and the Republic of Karelia. And between the two lakes, Roshinsky Lake, like Roshinsky and Lake, Holy Lake. Okay, this part is closed. Closed for the visitors. Wow. In the end of this first live stream, just want to show once again this landscape. Wow, so beautiful. Deep in the woods, next to the lake, on such a hill. No, the entrance is free here. Okay, dudes. See you later. See you later. Now I continue the way to the Republic of Karelia. And uh, now go to the place which is called Karela Park. Thank you for watching.